All right, I'm here with Paul I'm F. Here with no, Paul no, 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 I'm no. here with Paul F. Tompkins. Hi, Paul. How I'm, are you? I'm, I'm Paul F. Tompkins. He's Paul F. Tompkins. And you are the host of Spontaneous Nation, That's correct? Correct. Bless you for pronouncing it correctly. I did it right, didn't you I? Did it first time right out of the gate. The amount of anxiety I had saying it just insane. When did you get started doing podcasts? I want to say it was back in 2008. Okay. And uh, Scott Ackerman had started. Uh, Comedy Death Ray Radio, which was called at the time, then later to become Comedy Bang Bang. And um, he asked me to to call into the show. I was living in New York at the time and said, you could be yourself or you could be a character. And uh, that was um, that was really the beginning for me of doing podcasting the way I do it now. Cool. And uh, at one point you had uh, a podcast called Paul F. Tomcast. Is that right? Pod F. Pod F. Tomcast. There we go. That's correct. Oh, man. I almost had it. it I got sp- I got Spontaneous Nation right, though. You did? So that's something. Now you put like a little classy pronunciation. You like that? Spontaneous Nation. Spontaneous What do you like doing about podcasts um, over other mediums? I know you do, you know, you kind of cross the board, stand up, right. acting, all that kind of thing. Uh, is there something you get out of podcasts that you don't get out of the other things that you do? I mean, I like a lot of different artistic disciplines and, and media, and I think what's, what's the best about podcasting is that it's still a very democratic um, media and um, medium and you can you can do whatever you want and uh, even though I work for uh, Earwolf I might you know I work for a company put it out for a company I could I could if I wanted to do another podcast that's completely different from this one and I could put it out myself and anyone who uh, is able to get access to the the very few tools that you need to make a podcast can make a podcast and I think that's a really great thing you know that there's there's a way to reach people that's open to absolutely everyone that's a fantastic answer how hard is it to churn out episode after episode well, it depends on what you're doing. And when I was doing my previous podcast, uh, the Pod F Tomcast, that was a very heavily produced podcast. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of writing involved. There was um, a lot of post-production involved, a lot of pre-production involved. And um, that I released on a monthly basis. A lot of the episodes were late because it was just a very involved thing. And of course, it, I was making no money from it. And you know, myself and, and Eben Schletter were producing it ourselves. Um, and we both had jobs, you know, so it's like trying to do this around our other work was was very difficult. Something like Spontaneous Nation, which has very little production involved and is uh, improvised, um, that makes it a lot easier. So sometimes we'll, uh, depending on schedules, we'll do a couple episodes in a day, you know, and it's a relief to know that, um, you know, everything that is being recorded is what's going to go out to the public. You know, we don't do any editing. And also part of part of that was a uh, philosophical choice of I wanted after doing uh, so much production on a project to do something that just went out completely warts and all like there's moments that don't work and, mm-hmm. and there's you know jokes that I wish I had said that I can't put back in because it's too late it's already gone um, you know it's it's for me it was uh, making myself uh, be more present and be more in the moment which is a big part of my journey with improv you know it's sure. like the help Personally, it's it's been uh, a huge uh, uh, change in my life that's been extremely positive. I'm sure that freedom to just go with your gut for a whole hour leads a little. There's probably a little bit of fear in there, but also more just like, oh, great, I get to kind of yeah. do whatever I want. I mean, the, and the fear is what makes it extra fun. Sure. You know, is that you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what the other people are going to do, and, and a big part of improv is that you very quickly form a plan in your head that can completely be thwarted by another sentence that somebody says. Sure. And then you are forced to accept that and move on very quickly. Yeah. And, you know, there's definitely some life lessons in there. I'm sure. And I'm sure there's a moment where we're like, why did I think I could plan this yeah, at all? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Yeah.